never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth. You're, you're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. I guess that explains how you're still alive. You're built solid as an oak. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. 
Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore.
Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fantasy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all that looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails!
Howdy. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Can do. Another satisfied customer. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Take it easy now. 